As soon as I put on the wig, I was like, oh my God, I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm Ryan Roschke and I am a staff writer and reporter for Pop Sugar. I'm very new to drag. I, I just started doing it a couple months ago. I think when I arrived at the moment when I was like, I want to do drag, I hit a point in my life where I felt kind of bogged down with sadness and heartbreak and anger. I wanted drag to be something I could pour all of that into. I am going to put together my first look ever. I'm gonna do drag fully for the first time. I'm gonna sew everything, do as much as I can at home, and then Mayhem Miller from RuPaul's Drag Race season 10 is going to come in and tell me how I did. Then we're gonna do a big debut photo shoot. So the look is rooted in Greek mythology. You can see how she has like fabric draping up to her shoulder here and coming down. And then I wanted to add like, you know, warrior aspects. And so, you know, I'm designing this headpiece which has like wings coming off of it. I'm designing this shoulder piece that is a little bit hard. It's a, it's a real hard and soft thing. My goddess is kind of like an evil goddess. I haven't really named her yet, but that's kind of like where the inspiration comes from. Ta-da! I mean, I think it looks pretty good for someone who has no idea what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know how to paint nails. Uh, this is a disaster. Ah! Oh my god, I have to get way better at this. I bought gigantic shoes. And bam. I'm actually not totally comfortable with this myself. You grow up with the world hammering into you like, how you're supposed to be and what masculinity is, that it's something you have to adjust to. So I f feel a little weird, <laughs> but it's cool, it's fun, it's exciting. So it's the big day, I'm super nervous. I think I've done all I can do at this point and I'm just excited to meet Mayhem and get some feedback. The first step is gluing down your eyebrows, which is what why my eyebrows look all purple right now. So you need to lay your eyebrows flat and then cover them with powder and foundation so that it's kind of just like you don't have any eyebrows at all. So you can create new ones. There it is. And I'm done. How's my drag? Most people use brown powder for contour, but I have been experimenting with black contour. Wow, that's really uneven. I hope uh, everything turns out okay. I'm not feeling amazing about it. We're learning a lot about crisis management and that's okay. All right. I have razor burn, everyone. I'm so shaky. Ah, and I have lipstick on my teeth. Everything's great. <laughs> Let's go meet Mayhem. <sighs> All right. Oh my gosh, you did that oh I sewed it. You sewed it? Yeah. Great. Oh, I love it. I love it. Wait, this is I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna ask Mayhem about it. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. It is so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mwah. 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 Mayhem. This is actually my first time in full drag. Oh my gosh. Um, How uncomfortable are you? Uh, <laughs> you mean emotionally or physically? <laughs> Both. How many <laughs> hours have bit. you been tucked already? <laughs> I actually didn't tuck today. I know, I know. Shaving was traumatic enough. <laughs> <laughs> How did you first start getting into drag? Coming from a theater and choir background from high school. Mm, I, I was like very intrigued by it because I was like, oh my God, this is just like theater, but better. I found like the prettiest girl around my town and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stalk her and I'm gonna go to all her shows and beg her to be my drag mom. Finally, she, she caved in. RuPaul's Drag Race. I heard you've been auditioning for it for a long time. Is that right? <laughs> 
for a very, very long time. <laughs> <laughs> it took me almost a decade to do it. Mm. So I found my yeses in different places. And all those no's prepared me for my yes moment for RuPaul's Drag Yeah. Race. If someone wants to be a great drag performer, what do they need? You definitely need to do your homework. Yeah. You need to be well-versed in drag. You have to have a good self of where you want your character to go. Mm -hmm. What's like the number one piece of advice you would offer me as I move forward? To have fun. That's so awesome. If you're not having fun, then no one else is having fun around you. So my persona is like an, an angry, vengeful goddess. I like that. I know, I it's know. It's different. Yeah, it's thank different. you. And, thank and you. you have a point of reference. I want to run my top three names by you. Okay. So the Greek goddess of chaos is Eris, but the Roman name for Eris is Discordia. So okay. that's the first one. The next one I was thinking was based on the river Styx and it would just be Mystics. And then the last one, I'm thinking something like Calypso Claw or Calypso Crux. I'm really feeling Mystics. Mystics? Yeah. Okay. I like that. And I have really long stick legs. So. I know, because you're very tall. <laughs> I am super tall. I don't know if I really want to like glue onto one yet. Don't but glue, yeah, yeah you'll I'm know. Still rolling just around keep playing in with it. it. Did I do okay on my contour today? And I'm loving it with the black and blue, because it's going with the outfit yeah, too, so and it's I, fun. And, yeah, and I kind of wanted to make her a little ghoulish or like mm -hmm. kind of like a creature, so. I That's would say even go d go deeper with it. Go sharp and go dark is fun. Okay. Like, have fun with it. Sweet. Just keep pushing with it. You'll, your drag will evolve and grow as long as you keep pushing yourself. Do you think it doesn't count if I'm not tucked? It, it definitely doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count, so you're well, going to have to Today's test. Today's canceled. I'm sorry, <laughs> Well, welcome to my trashed makeup station. All drag queen stations look like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want to try to help me deepen my contour before... I do my photo shoot? Sure. So, okay, you'll get your, your contour color. Mm -hmm. Let's see, just blend it out so it's not. You want to make sure that, um, you know, from the bow of your lip, like everything is like equal. This is like parallel parking while someone's watching. <laughs> and then blot together. Yeah. Yeah. This looks good? Yeah. Thank you. See, photo shoots are the fun part. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Can you tell I don't have a lot of modeling experience? <laughs> I want you to think statue and statuesque. I'm liking that, hand on the hips. Try arching back more. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dim the eyes, lower, lower your head some. Mm. You're like, you're going on your own. I don't need to give you any direction. <laughs> If it feels wrong, then it's right. Ooh, good <laughs> to know. Okay. Oh, so we just wrapped. I just wiped off my face. This has been quite the journey. You know, there's a lot of complicated things that come up. I think I am seeing now what people mean when they say, you know, drag is an act of rebellion. It's a political act. I think people project judgment onto you when they when you dress up as a woman. I mean, I guess at some point you have to let that go. I have to remember why I'm doing drag and, and know what it means to me, and that's really all that matters. What I really appreciated was that Mayhem gave me permission for a lot of things. I definitely feel more empowered to continue. I'm inspired to like lean more into my instincts. I want to go to a lot of drag shows, keep practicing, find a drag mom, and really just figure out who I am and what I want to do. So thank you, Mayhem. And that's a wrap. I don't think you can ever be the best drag queen. You should always aspire to be a better version of the drag queen you were yesterday.